Hello, hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. Just gonna give you a bit of an insight and rundown on brush conditioning and care. So if you've got a brand new brush, it's always good to uh, moisten it up and give them a bit of a soaking uh, pre-conditioner before the first time of use. I'll just give you a bit of a rundown and show you how. As you can see, I've got four different quality brushes here. Obviously two are the same brand, then we've got the Maverick and we've got the Monarch. They're all 63 millimeter. We've got the Pretty Boy brush conditioner here also. You don't have to have the brush conditioner. You can quite easily use a pot of water or detergent. So before each use, I like to actually open her up. One pot of the conditioner, and then we'll have one clean pot. So let's go through and just give them a bit of a, a plunge in the water, nice and gently. You don't want to go smashing it down because all you're going to be doing is you're going to be bending out your bristles, and then you're going to end up with a broom, broomstick like a paintbrush. So always be really gentle with your bristles. You're pretty much acting like a plunger, so when you're plunging down, it obviously is drawing whatever liquid up into the stock or into the bristles. And that's all we're pretty much doing. Just nice and gentle. You don't want to, like I said, you don't want to go smashing it down. So if you're going to be using a couple of brushes through the day, just go through and precondition each and every one. doesn't matter that much if you haven't got the pretty boy you can just use straight water or uh, detergent like I said just put it in there give it a nice little dunk like I said all that's doing is you are drawing moisture or water up into the stock area so even when you give it a bit of a flick out it's gonna stay moist up there so then when you go painting through the day especially in hot summer conditions like today paint will dry up inside here really quickly and then before you know it your brush is going to turn out really stiff and it's not going to be the best to use for coverage so we just sit them in there so if you are going to use your pretty boy just all dunk them in this one first obviously so we can always go through never never go down really hard always if you've got a nice moist stock inside you should have never the paint drying really hard so it should be quite easily just to go through and give them a light wire brush you never want to go hacking out too because that way you're going to ruin their bristles over time so just nice and gentle that's pretty much what it's all about it's being nice and gentle and take care of your of your brushes and your bristles and then like i said they'll take care of you Another thing, a lot of painters or peeps or DIYs I know, uh, they like to, they grab and they kick it like this and what happens, it pinches in your corners and then you'll have a little pinch here and then when you go to put it on, you're not going to have that even desired stroke that you, that you should be getting. You're going to have a lot of different blowouts in, in different areas because you have pinched the stock. So you don't want to be going doing anything like that. But yeah, just take them out here, give them a bit of a rinse out. I never like to have my brushes sitting in a pot of water, even for a couple of hours. I don't like to do that at all. If anything, I always like to have my brushes hanging. Uh, that's how I like to store them. I, lo I do. Let them sit for a couple of hours after I've washed them. Let it let them dry out a bit, and then what I'll do, obviously, I'll put the covers back on, um, and then they'll just hang. So that way, we're not going to go over time. You start to uh, bristles will start to curve and bend, and that way they're not going to be nice and straight like this. So I'm just going to go through just the last last couple. So that now you can dispose of that. That's just your conditioner. So 
So we've got two ways I like to obviously get the water out of the stock. We can either first way, just put it in your hands and give it a bit of a roll like this. That way it flicks it all out. You've got no access water in your brush or up in your stock and we're not going to have any result of any pinching. So that's one way we can do it. Another way they will like to do it also, in the wrist. So just give it a flick. You know, I, when I first started doing this over 20 years ago, um, I, you know, I couldn't get that flick of the wrist. But over time, the tradies obviously said to me, hey, it's all about the practice. So... I find that way a lot more efficient than giving it a, a spin because even now with this one how I've spun it there's still a lot of water still sitting in there so always learn over the time just give it a bit of a flick it's all about the flick of the wrist as they say so that now is ready to go absolute beautiful never I'm gonna do I'm gonna give a bit of a tester on this one so they're the two ways I like to get all the water out of my brushes after I've preconditioned them. This one, as you can see, straight as, I'm sure old fields won't mind me doing a bit of a tester on this one. It's more of the um, lower quality of brush from old fields, this one. So trades, the usual one I like to use as the E4. Such beautiful brushes, even the the Maverick, beautiful brush, and the Monarch. Oh, I'll give a bit of a test anyway, and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So, as you can see, beautiful, nice. We've got no pinching or anything on at the moment, but if I go like this, okay. I know a lot of peeps that do that. And as you can see, look what it's doing already. See how it's starting to blow out all your sides? Because what it does, it does the pinches in here and then all your bristles will start popping out on the sides like this. So never kick or hit your, your stock against anything. Always give it a, a roll or a flick and that way you're gonna keep your brushes nice and fresh for a lot longer, that's for sure. So that's pretty much it peeps, that's just a quick rundown how to wash, precondition and care for your brushes. You know, uh, I can quite easily have, have these brushes for a couple of years or at least a year as long as you take care of them and look after them. Pretty much like your, all your tools and equipment that will look after you in return. So peeps. I hope you found this useful. Bit of handy brush care information. Appreciate you as always tuning in and watching. Jump on, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And I appreciate you as always um, responding to all the comments and uh, getting back to me. Much respect and much love from the PBJ fam.